I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from IIT J test paper. The question is, if x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi, then the number of real solutions for cos x plus cos 2x plus cos 3x plus cos 4x equals to 0 are 9, 8, 3 or 7. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now in this particular question, we are going to use a trigonometric identity which is uh, known as cos c plus cos d because they are all plus, right? is equals to twice cos c plus d by 2 times cos c minus d by 2, right? Now this identity is called converting from sum to product. Correct, okay, sum to product. So it's a very common. I'll provide you a link for this identity. So we'll apply this identity to solve this particular question. Now what you can do here is that you can combine the odd terms, which are these, and the even terms, I mean 2x and 4x, to simplify right in product form, right? So once you have factored form, we can actually figure out the zeros. So combining, let's rewrite first. So we could write this as cos x plus cos 3x plus cos 2x plus cos 4x equals to 0, right? Now here, this is like cos c plus d. So add them and divide by 2, 2 times. So we get 2 cos of x plus 3x over 2. Now for cos, we can change the order also, 3x minus x, since cos of minus x is cos x, right? It's an even function. So we have cos of 3x minus x over 2. So that's combining these two. Now let's combine the other two. We have cos of 2x plus 4x. Think it is 4x plus 2x. Same thing, right? twice cos 4x plus 2x by 2 times cos 4x minus 2x by 2 equals to 0, right? Now, this is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we get 2 cos 2x. Here it is 2 divided by 2. So it is cos x plus cos of 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we have cos of 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is x. Correct. So we can take cos x common, rather 2 cos x common, and we are left with cos 2x plus cos 3x equals to 0. Again, apply the same identity. So we get 2 cos x common. And add them and subtract them. So we have cos of, uh, let's write 3x plus 2x over 2 times cos of 3x minus 2x over 2 equal to 0. So that gives us 2 times cos of cos x of, this is cos of <clears throat> 5 by 2, right, or 2.5. So we can say 5x by 2 plus, I mean, sorry, product cos of um, 3 minus 2 is 1, so half x, x by 2, equal to 0, right? So that is the product form in cosine equals to 0. So now we have solutions for each equal to 0. Perfect. So let's list the number of solutions. We are not interested in solutions, but number of solutions. Okay. Now let's also look at the cosine function. When is it 0? A cos function is kind of like this within the interval 0 to 2 pi. And as you know, it is 0 for pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. We are working in this interval 0 to 2 pi. So cos x, so if we say 2 cos x equals to 0, that means, that means, <coughs> x is equals to 
pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, correct. In the interval 0 to 2 pi, correct. Now let's look into cos of 5x by 2. Now when you say cos of 5x by 2, that means that 5x by 2 should be equal to 0 at one of these points. And this is kind of a series, right? So it continues. So it could be at pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. Now since x is between 0 to 2 pi, let me, let me show you this part once again clearly. When we say that x is between 0 to 2 pi, in that case, 5 x by 2 will be where? So we have to multiply this by 5 x by 2. Do you understand? So, so that means 5 x is this, right? So 5 times. So 5 times, if you do this, 5 over 2 times, so 5, 2 to cancel, you get 5 pi. Do you see that? So that means uh, it could take more such values. Let's take, so two and a half times this actually. So it'll be pi by two, three pi by two, and then five pi by two, seven pi by two, nine pi by two. So since it is five x by two, right? So in, in one, in one x, I mean, this is two and a half times these values, right? So we are expecting five values, actually speaking. Perfect, right? So that is the value of five x by two. So what is x equals to? So you have to, x will be twice this, divide by five. So we get five pi, I mean, sorry, uh, pi by five, got it? So just do the re reciprocal. We get three by five pi. So in this case, we get pi. Now in this case, we get 7 by 5 pi. Now here we get 9 by 5 pi, correct? Now that is within, so it is less than 2 pi. So it is within 2 pi, correct? If I take 11 pi by 2, I get more than 2 pi. That is out of this domain for x. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we already got. Now let's figure out for cos x by 2. So let's find out how many for cos x by 2. Now, cos x by 2 equals to 0 means x by 2 may be equals to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, right, and so on. So x is equals to what? So you cross multiply is equals to pi, cross multiply. So it gives 6 pi, I mean, okay, 3 pi, right? 2 to cancel. But 3 pi is not in the domain. It is more than 2 pi. So there is only one value, pi. But we have already taken pi here, correct? So therefore, this has been already considered. So these are all the possible solutions. And how many are they? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And therefore, this is the correct answer. Option D, correct? So that is how you could actually solve such a question. So I hope it is important to understand that the key interest is to find number of roots. And once you know this formula of converting sum to product, this is not a very difficult question. Feel free to write your suggestions and views. And if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.